my boo high squad thank you guys so much for supporting us all these years hey guys we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online please subscribe what's up my boo high squad how you doing did you sleep well i hope so omg guys welcome to another vlog you can hear feathers flapping in the background because we managed to get all three birds into the cage by eating and they are moving to the new aviary yay the outdoor aviary so if you saw the last vlog you saw that the three smaller conures have been moved successfully into the aviary and a few hours later managed to get these blue napes guys look the conures are greeting the blue napes they're like you guys will love this place where were you don't worry we're letting you out okay gonna go in now let's go RJ all right so in first close that and open this yes yes guys you missed your friends huh all right gonna open this door there we go you're free okay moving the cage against this wall here actually put it against there oh there goes the <laughs> there goes one of the blue napes against this wall yeah so that the backing has a pillar yeah there they will feel more secure there all right let, let's let the blue napes emerge oh cool see they're secure now because they have the conures to fly with how is it is that you marcelo it's marcelo he's a little frazzled he's like where are we what is this place oh he looks so good up there against the tree as a background wow and this conure here is trying to get the other two to come out like come out it's safe you okay yeah don't worry i know it's scary so these parrots have not seen the outdoors, these blue napes. They've always been indoors. Well, it has been outdoors because the top of their aviary is technically at, above our roof. So they have seen the outside and the aviary is technically outside, but they haven't ever been surrounded by mesh really, again, other than the top of the, their aviary. It's always been bricks and glass. But now, this is a different thing. They're in the outside world. The conures, after a couple hours, have really relaxed. You like it out here, huh? I told you. But these uh, blue napes are quite frazzled still. Marcelo up there is not moving, but this is normal. This is what the conures were like too. Yes. Welcome to the outdoor aviary, Marcelo. The outside world. <laughs> the outside world, the real world. <laughs> and look, look at the amount of space they have here to fly. It's just amazing. We secured awesome perches. We're gonna add more perches. Um, I'm also thinking of stringing like vines, balete vines along the top so they could play along the roof. But yeah, gonna keep this cage here because this is kind of their safety home base. And both these groups of birds will spend the night here, their first night here. Yeah, I told you you'd love this place, didn't I? It's okay, you two can stay here. You don't need to come out until you're ready. See, one of the Conyers is inside now. Going to console, are you going to console your friend? All right, guys, you birdies, enjoy your new home. Oh, that's so great. Man, this is like history. <laughs> this is awesome. Their first time in the outside world. They must be mind blown right now. Okay, guys, so anyways, welcome to the vlogs. If you're new, my name is Mikey. This is RJ, my partner. This here is the Mabu High Squad farmhouse, a home we've been working on for the past five, almost six years now. And this here is the side lot, really expansive side lot for our farming and, well, animal activities. I'm coming back to say farewell, not farewell, but I just wanted to come back because I'm going to miss having them inside the house. All their toys are here. They're going to play with all their toys. We're going to string more toys all around the aviary too. This is why it's good 
to raise your birds, if you're gonna have an aviary, you still need to feed them every now and then inside like a smaller cage so that they're easy to catch if you ever need to catch them, like let's say for a vet visit or something. They still need to be comfortable with moving into a cage. Okay, see ya, enjoy guys. Marcelo's still not moving. <laughs> it's gonna be sunset in an hour or so. Oh, Marcelo flew, yay. Go Marcelo, yay. They're all landing on Ate Elsie. The Conyers adapted fast, yay. Look at, honestly, how much space that is. Seriously. So guys, RJ and I are heading to a special place because it's our 11th year anniversary. Yes. Guys, 11 years. 11. What? We met because we were neighbors uh, in the same building um, way back in 2012. That's crazy. Wow. So we're going to go eat have a special dinner somewhere. Happy anniversary, babe. Happy anniversary. <laughs> wow. RJ booked a place, a dinner at a restaurant here at a hotel. The place is called Samira. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. Hello, sir. Hello, hi. Good evening. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Wow, look at the, the pool. It's like right by the window. Thank you. Whoa, so nice. Ooh, the view outside on that patio is gorgeous. Wow, look at the kitchen. You can see in. <gasps> wow. Oh, wow, how nice. Thank you. Anywhere, I'll sit here. Hi. Oh, it's so pretty. Thanks. Ooh. Wow. Thank you. Wow, oh, man, this is so, so nice. Guys, look at that. Look at that nice view. Oh, I've missed the Gaitai. Nice and cool weather. This is really nice. Look at the beautiful flower centerpiece. That's real, of course. And the little flower petals. Oh my gosh, this six course menu looks amazing. <gasps> So guys, this restaurant is in a place called Anya Resort. Here in Tagaytay, it's a five-star hotel. I've never seen this place. <gasps> but look at it, it's gorgeous. RJ, we gotta stay here one day. I even hear golf carts carting around to, I don't know, transport the various guests. Oh, I had no idea Tagaytay had a resort like this. So cool. So guys, for those of you who are new to the Philippines, Tagaytay is more upland. It's like up higher in elevation near one of the volcanoes. Um, and RJ and I used to live here. This is our old hood. We moved out here during the pandemic to escape lockdown in Manila before moving to our current place at the Mabuhay Scar Farmhouse. And it's always good to be back. I love the weather here. Starting with some Antipodes sparkling artesian water. Guys, I, I used to think, what is wrong with people? Why do people like bubbly water? It just has no taste and it's just bubbles. But <laughs> let me tell you, I prefer it now over still water. I like the bubbly feeling in my throat. I like the feeling of burping and somehow it makes me fuller. Oyster. Cilantro oil and yes. pears. <gasps> mm. And then this one is the Rio starter. So it's made with homemade baked brioche. With beef brioche tartare. tartare. With beef tartare. Yes. Mm. With egg emulsion and salmon roe. With egg emulsion and salmon yes. roe. So All right. So thank you. Okay, Ben, let's do it. Which one first? Mm. Any, I guess. I think this one first. Okay, yeah. We'll try this. this. She said it's to open up our palate. Cheers. Cheers. Happy anniversary. Anniversary. <laughs> Guys. Mmm. 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 Yeah. Mmm. 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 Let's try this oyster. I've never had oyster with pear in it. 
and cilantro, my favorite herb. Oh, I already know this is gonna be pretty awesome. Let's try. Mmm. 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 Oh yeah. The pear and the cilantro really drown out that like fishy taste of the oyster, the raw oyster. Mm. Oh, that was great. So this first section of the meal has three parts to their bites stage. Oh no, four bulalo tacos. Oh man, this is gonna be wow. Look at we have a lot to go. We just finished the first line. Sorry, we also finished the second line. I just realized that. So two more are coming, I guess. Oh, bulalo tacos. Mm. Oh, what's that? Black squid? Arancini. Arancini. With parmesan. With parmesan mousse. Wow. Oh my. Which first? Maybe the balls, because they're easier. Oh, they're, they're warm. Oh, and it goes with the mousse? Oh, thanks. Apparently it's full of cheese. Sure. Oops. <laughs> I'm assuming their table's clean. Oh look! Mine is like Princess Leia. <laughs> mm. It was good. Mmm. Mm. Mm. It's so good. Mm. Wow. Sure, I'll have more of that. Moose. Wow. Like it? Yeah. Oh my god. Mm. The flavor hits you right away. Mm. I don't know what else is in there, but quite good. Definitely cheese, mozzarella cheese. Let's see the tacos. <gasps> mm. Look at that. Cute. Bulalo. Very Filipino. This is my first time having a bulalo taco. And it really tastes like bulalo. Mm. I love it with the tortilla. Oh, mine's from Mexico. Okay, RJ is having wine, a brand from South Africa. It's a white wine to be paired with the next meal, which will be trout. Thank you. Oh, bon bon. Mm, smells good. <laughs> Oh my RJ, look behind you. Ah. Holy. So fancy. Tasmanian ocean trout. Look at all the sides. We have ingredients for salt, red radish, and green apple. RJ, look. That's dill. That's gonna be so good. Mm. Yum. Guys, let's see. Let's see. Whoa. Mm. Oh, it comes with the crackers. Okay. And then. Cream fresh beans. Mmm. Dill oil. <gasps> oh, that looks splendid. Arjun says he loves it. Okay, let's try. You're supposed to eat it with the crackers, I think. Okay. I'm gonna grab the mixture, place it on the crackers. There's a lot going on there. Mm, the flavors, they're so good together. What's that cream thing? Is that coconut? I love the cream. Mm. Oh my. My boy's boy, this is so good. <laughs> oh. I love the mixture of the flavors. It's like so unique. I've never tasted anything like this. It's even hard to describe. It's so complex, the blending of the little flavors. Okay, but it's on here. It's with dill, fried capers, apple, red radish slice served with creme fresh split with dill oil. Like, Italian red wine, 
for the next dish pairing for RJ? For the octopus. Ooh, octopus is coming! Yay! OMG guys, the grilled octopus. Let's do this. Grilled octopus. Oh, it's like charred on the outside. Oh, and look That's at the grilled. puree. What is this puree? Paprika. Oh. Alright, let's try it. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Where's the whole tentacle? I want it. Mm. These fancy meals have such tiny portions. Mm. Yum. You don't like it? No, it's a Arjay's getting full, guys. We're not even halfway through. Alright. More for me, I guess. Mmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Octopus is so good. And so healthy. Argentinian white wine for the next pairing. Wow, RJ. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Are you liking these wines? Yeah, yeah. yeah especially the second one. The second one he yeah. really liked. All right. Oh my gosh, pan-seared Dorado and charred romaine. <gasps> Ooh, tomato with hazelnut salsa. Oh man, that looks so good. Mm. All right. Mmm. Let's try. Oh my gosh, guys. It's so good. It's good? RJ says I will like this. I already know I will. Let's get some of this. Okay, so what do you say this is? With sun-kissed tomato, hazelnut salsa, puree of sweet peas flavored with mint. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Right? Oh my. Let's try this romaine lettuce. Guys, I don't know how to eat fancy. I love the roasted nuts. That tastes good. Smoky. Mm. That is some good fish, guys. Yes. OMG, guys. That was good. How was it? It was super good. <laughs> A Spanish red wine for the steak coming up. Yay! Mmm, creamy mushroom rice with butter and truffle oil topped with um, seared secreto iberico. Is that pork? Mmm, whatever it is. Let's try. And asparagus. Rice is life. How is it? So creative these meals. Let's try it. Oh, I smell the mushrooms. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mm. Savory, I like that. Mmm. 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 Mm. So good. Oh my gosh. Mmm, my boy is one. Omg guys, RJ's full. Really? Sure, I'll have yours. <laughs> guys, mm, twice the fun. <laughs> oh my gosh, here's the main course. Thank you. Grilled beef tenderloin on an eggplant puree. What? And roasted confit potato. And it's pickled mint leaves. So unique. Oh my gosh, this steak is so tender. The way you like it. Oh, look. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite part. Mmm. The way you like it. Oh my god. Mmm. My boy's got. Mmm. It's so good. That steak and the gravy. Mm. 
the eggplant. Wow. Smoky. Guys, RJ's so full. He gave me most of his steak too. Protein city. <laughs> it's okay though because I worked out legs today. This. Babu High Squad. Let's try this ice cream. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. And the strawberry is so good. Mmm. So flavorful. Mm. Chocolatey, ice creamy, strawberry y. Oh my gosh. Yeah, RJ likes this. It's not white chocolate, it's like a wafer of some kind. Oh, but it is so delectable. Oh my gosh, all done. One of the best. Yeah, that was really good. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's dig into this cake now. <laughs> I rarely eat dessert, so. I know, I know this. But oh, I'm, wow. I'm bulking, so I need the calories. Mmm, okay, this is white chocolate. Can we eat that flour? Yes. Mmm, chocolate mousse cake. Mmm. Let's try this. It reminds me of that. Mm. The host? I just says that reminded him of the host. My Buhai Squad, thank you guys so much for supporting us all these years. We really appreciate it. We love you. And yeah, thanks for accepting us. Thank you guys. Thank you, Buhai Squad. Yeah, we love you so much. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go and I'll see you in the morning. Or maybe when we get back, when we check on the birds. I don't know. We'll see you. Either tonight or tomorrow morning. Guys, let's see the birds. Hi. Where are you? I wonder where the birds are sleeping. Are they up there? No. I don't know where the birds are. I mean, the conure should be sleeping on a corner. Okay, I see two birds up there. Oh, there. There's. Oh, I see three birds up here. Where? Okay, so the blue napes are here, sleeping up there against that wall. Hi, guys. Do you like it? And then, uh, one is there. the conures are up there. Okay, I see two conures there. Where's the third conure? Hi guys. You're just gonna sleep up there, huh? What? Oh, where? Okay, it's the third one is hiding way down there. How strange that it's not beside the other conures. And there's a, there's a lizard, how cute. Hey, Billy. <laughs> you're just gonna sleep there? You're not gonna sleep in your shade? Guys, Billy ate my mulberry tree. Why, Billy? Why? <laughs> All right, good night, Billy. Bye, birds. We'll see you in the morning. Man, they've got a lot of space. <gasps> Look at that. That's a big enough aviary for an eagle. Oh my gosh, there. That's why. Billy's eating my mulberry again. <laughs> We need to put a fence around the plants, around the aviary. He'll eat them all. My boy squad, this is the beginning of a new era for those birds. And it's also going to be sad looking into the aviary with no birds there for a while. We're going to spend the next couple of weeks redecorating the aviary and prepping the aviary for the new set of birds that will be moving in. These will be songbirds, so smaller birds. And I don't know, it's hard to say whether or not they'll be tame enough to actually land on us. My intuition is no, but who knows? I mean, with birds, it's like the more time you spend with them, the more they trust you, and maybe they might come up to our hand and feed, or at least feed from a bowl in our hand. Guys, let's go in. There's the toads, I saw the toads. They're still here, one's there, and the other I don't know. There are toads in here, two of them. Big fat king toads that eat the roaches. Um, but I wanted to show you, look at these beautiful vining flowers. They're called Lady of the Night. They bloom in the night, it's so pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna miss having parrots in here, but um, for those of you who are new, the overall reason we're moving them outside is because it's better for them to be out there than in here. Um, 
They can use their wings a lot more. They're more out in the elements. Sun, rain, very good for their feathers. And a constant photo period. But also, this aviary here was largely experimental. It was very trial and error. And we discovered a lot of things, actually. They told me that you can't keep parrots in glass aviaries or aviaries with glass because they would crash into the glass and they would die. Well, they didn't. They learned glass, as I suspected. All six parrots, they learned about glass. Um, we started by drawing circles on the glass and then also putting decal stickers, UV bird decal stickers. And they learned. I mean, they did crash into the glass every now and then, but I mean, not fatally. Now, the other thing I wanted to see was if I could plant huge trees and plants. Like, my dream for this indoor aviary was for it to be lush and hanging plants from the top, vines, beautiful indoor garden. Um, and, you know, I figured, yes, birds destroy things. Maybe they'll destroy some of the trees and plants and leaves and wood, but that the plants in here would be too, like, much for them to keep up with. But turns out I was wrong. They destroyed every single plant and tree that we put in here, except for these low-lying ones. These survived. But every tree and shrub we've put in here, they've destroyed. Uh, so, you know, we ended up completely revamping this three times. I even tried different species of bamboo. Like this used to be a huge bamboo bush of Buddha bamboo. They destroyed it. And bamboo is the fastest growing plant, one of the fastest. So. Um, that we, we decided, you know, this is not going to be the most cost efficient, buying all these trees and stuff all the time. So, hence, we decided to move the birds out. Um, and in here, we'll be putting small songbirds, which have different beaks, and they're not hook bills that need to always chew things. So, yeah, this will be a songbird aviary. <laughs> Good morning, Mabuhai squad. How you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, I'm checking up on the birds. They had their first night in the aviary. Oh, look at the blue napes. They're looking so good. It rained all night, guys, so they're probably under the shady part. Yep. Hi, guys. They're having breakfast. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi there. There's the others and the blue napes. Why'd you guys fly over there? Are you guys mad at me for putting you in the cage to be brought here? Oh, here come the other birds. Come on, guys. Come. Come, come, come. Oh, that is so cool. They come and follow me. I love it. You guys are just as personable and interactive as always. But this is a better place, right? What do you say? You guys look much better out here. All the sunlight's making your colors pop. See guys, you get natural rain, just like in the aviary. Nice and wet, good for your feathers. I know they enjoy looking around, and I know they enjoy all of this horizontal flying space. I'm pretty sure they really love that. Look at them. There's Billy chilling in his room. Goats don't really like the rain, so they always seek shade. Yes? <laughs> Hi. They're eating breakfast right now. You got a dirty beak, yes. All right, enjoy. Ah, sigh. All right, so over the next few weeks, the next step is to work on this aviary. Just forest it. I'm gonna forest it. I had rings, see those like, those rings built into the wall there? Those were for, supposed to be for plant boxes. So I'm probably gonna hang like stuff there. I'm gonna place uh, ferns up there again. Um, I'm gonna try other plants as well. Um, maybe bromeliads. I wanna try a lot more large leafed climbing plants like monstera, things like that. I just want this to be a really, a really nice indoor garden. And um, might also hang balete branches in here. I just love that I could watch the birds from the bedroom at any time. They, I have full view and I can see them. They really stand out like, see the blue napes? Well, the conures are there. Blue napes are there. Well, there's one. Um, 
There's the other. Yeah, see, it's just so cool. Because here in the bedroom, I can't see them normally. I have to go out of the bedroom to see them in the aviary. But now, I can still be in my room. And just sit here. And watch them. It's a, it's a cool way to observe them. Different. Abu, hi squad. Raquel's here. Hi. Yes. And the daughters, hi. Nicole hi, and Chloe and dogs. Hi doggies, yes. Yes, hi, this is Bernie and Pepe. And guys, we have something very, very special. Guys, there's a choir here. They're gonna be doing some beautiful Christmas carols and songs for us. They did this last year, guys, and I was bawling my eyes out. This is the choir of Atejun, our landscaper. Hi, Atejun. Um, and we're all gathered here to enjoy this performance. Our church uh, singing group uh, from Mulawi SDA Church. Actually, they already have a year of experience in singing. Great. But still learning. Learning. Excellent. This is our new pianist. This Hello. Is Dennis Morano. Welcome. Oh my God, listen to them. Awesome. All right, that was so beautiful. We're now moving it outside, right in front of the Pinoy Chalet, so we could enjoy music outside in this backdrop. Come on, guys. <laughs> Rox, will you swim later? Yes. Yeah. Yay. What's up, my Buhai squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, I'd like you to meet our good friend, Andrew. Hey, everybody. He's How visiting from Toronto, um, and he's here, well, he's like work traveling. Um, and he stayed here last night. Did you sleep okay? That was the best sleep I had this trip. Awesome. Yeah. He slept in the Joseph room, guys. Anyways, can't say exactly why, He's here, like why, what we're working on, but it's super cool. Stay tuned for that. Andrew here is a music producer. He's a producer, songwriter. Yeah. yeah. And um, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything. Um, and I'm secret, here for a top secret project. That's right. So his next stop will be? Um, Japan. Japan. Yeah. And then also South Africa, right? Yep. Yeah. Japan. We hope we go home for a day, and then we uh, then we head to South Africa to work with some more top secret All right. artists and uh, well, projects. Yeah, and yeah. right, we can't say. So, anyways, um, yeah, welcome to Andrew. We'll see him a lot in the upcoming months. But guys, remember how I was skeptical that our farm cat Melody would use the hammock that RJ bought? She actually loves it. Look at her. That's hilarious. I didn't think she would. That was a good purchase. So this is day two of the parrots in their new aviary. And I stuck some basil on there and they're having a blast chewing it up. <laughs> Look at how beautifully bright they are in the aviary. Wow. The blue napes up there. Hi guys. 
And cool thing is, they're installing the second roof now. Yay! So it's 50% covered, 50% unroofed. Um, and that'll be good in case they need shade. Um, but rain, as you guys know, rain and sunshine are good for the birds. But it also looks more symmetrical, so RJ's really happy, like from a design perspective. Now, we're going to um, add various enrichment. Right now, all their toys are just on the cage. But I did some research. It's cool, because the past two years, I had thought this... This is called rain tree. It's a type of, like, they call it acacia. But it's, uh, it's called rain tree. And I did research, and it said rain tree is toxic, like everything about it. But then I opened that article, like just recently, to double check. And it was a different species of, like, rain tree. This is the problem with common names. Like, it could refer to different types of trees. So I looked up the actual species name, which is Sam Samanea, I believe, something like that. And this is totally not a toxic tree. In fact, Billy eats these, our rabbits eat these, and it grows all over our house. And we cut branches all the time. So I realized that we can literally, every time we cut branches, we could just stick them in the aviary for the birds to chew up. So it's perfect. And again, our vegetarian animals love the stuff. And it's actually nutritious, guys. People in um, different countries boil it in tea. Some people eat the leaves. Some people eat the flowers. Some people boil the bark. It's got medicinal properties too. So um, I found that interesting. We're thinking of like cutting down branches with leaves and like wedging them in these like spaces between the branch and this cage. And that way it would kind of fall over and make this branch look like an actual tree limb. And see, the tree is always shedding these leaves. Here, guys. Taste this. Rain tree. Mmm. It's got medicinal properties. <laughs> see? Some really good, healthy enrichment. Awesome. I think, I think this is Scarlet. She's liking the taste of that. We've also set up their feeding stations all over. There's even one right here. But I think the end goal will be to have actual bowls on like stands so that they could like feed on them. And, and watching them fly is a bit of a challenge, particularly today because it's so windy. I think the birds are not used to flying with this kind of wind. So it's also good exercise and a good skill for them to build on. In terms of like flying with wind because there is a bit of a breeze when they were inside the house aviary but it wasn't like out here so guys i'm editing an ants canada video and i realized i can actually appreciate the birds from here hi guys i think they're looking at me hi <laughs> you guys look so good in there i just saw a shrike on the aviary. I think it's interested in our parrots. <gasps> Actually, there's another, there's a black nape oriole up there. A lot of birds, I think, are intrigued with our parrots. And they're like coming around to check the aviary. And something tells me the parrots are actually talking to the other birds. Yes, hi guys. Oh, I think they're talking to me. I'm coming. They're calling me. Hi guys! Oh, you guys look awesome in there! See? The parrots come here to greet. Hi! You guys look awesome! Man, you guys have so much room. Good to see. You guys are doing okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, hi. Hi. Rojo, come. How about the blue napes? You're there yawning. Who is that? Is that you, Clara? Yawning there. Uh, and then the other two blue napes here. So they've finished the roof. It's perfect. The aviary is awesome. Look at them purring, listen. 
Hi. They like purr. Hi. What are you looking at? Looking at Billy? Are you guys keeping Billy company? Hi. Hi, Rojo. Oh, you guys get some awesome morning sun out here too. Love it. Can't wait to move the iguanas out here too. Hi, Rizal. Uh -huh. Good morning. Good morning, Rizal. Our puff ball. Our big teddy bear. <laughs> Look at him. He's a big stuffed animal. Well, it has been an awesome few days. It is currently Christmas Eve. Yay! Um, and of course, like, everyone is in holiday mode. And um, so, going to end this vlog here. Thank you so, so much. RJ is out shopping right now because we have some epic plans for Christmas Eve here at the Mabu High Squad Farmhouse. So you'll have to tune in for the next vlog to see and join us uh, for Christmas Eve uh, festivities. But Mabu High Squad, if you enjoyed today's vlog, be sure to hit the like button as it really helps us a lot. It lets YouTube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences. I know you guys have been doing that. Thank you so, so much. And if you haven't yet, do hit that subscribe button, come join our Mabu High Squad, because we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this adventure we call life. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Happy holidays. Bye. Mm -hmm.